Welcome back to the Sugar Lee Shed. You may have seen this frame before. This is the frame that I got uh, with all the parts. And in the previous episode, we cut the back end. Uh, we lost the passenger foot peg, the pillion foot peg, sorry, on the back. Um, and we also did some welding, welding in some uh, studs here to screw on uh, pegs when we need them. Um, the next thing is the trellising that I talked about. Uh, I've done one already just to give you an example. Um, so I want to have a piece going here, a piece going there, and a piece going there, and then replicate that on the opposite side. Um, this one I've done already. I did it with my gasless MIG welder. Um, and frankly, I had to do a lot of grinding to get these welds to look even barely passable. And there's still you know, a little bit of porosity to them, um, which isn't ideal really. So, the gasless MIG, I think, is just not the tool for the job. This, however, this is the tool for the job. MIG welder, gas. Unfortunately, I couldn't go and buy myself one of these. I couldn't justify it straight after Christmas. But a very good friend of mine has lent me it um, for just this week to have a go with and see if I like it and see if it works. Uh, and then maybe in the new year, I can treat myself if... Uh, I find a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow somewhere that might that might do it. Ignore that garbage, but um, that looks all right. I kind of forgot what I was doing and uh, I went too far. Um, but hey, that looks like an actual weld. Uh, this is on the inside of the frame and it'll all get ground down anyway. But if I chuff with that, that's ten times better than the gasless welder. That's that's for sure. That's one side done. That's not bad. Pretty pleased with that. Um, just for total honesty, uh, I will need to do a lot of grinding and filing because these welds are pretty snotty. But I'm not a welder, so what did you expect? <laughs> On to the next side. So that's two of this side's trellis done. I uh, just got the last small one to put in here. And then I have a monumental task of grinding, filing and sanding ahead of me to make them look vaguely passable. That said, some of the welding on this frame is pretty shoddy anyway. So um, I'm in good company with my welds. <laughs> so the last piece of the puzzle is this piece going in here, welded into there to match this one over here. And then the trellising is done. As is the case with winter, I'm losing light fast. Um, the camera's turned up, but it's a lot darker than it, than it is. I, I have my work cut out to sort out these disgusting welds, but they do penetrate well. I just need to um, grind these back and file them and spend a bit of time making them look a bit prettier. Uh, not so bothered about the inside ones, you never really see them. Um, and once it's all powder coated, it should look a bit better. Um, but that's the trellising done on the GS500. I'm sure a professional welder could do a hell of a lot better in a 
quarter of the time, but I'm not a professional welder and I just wanted to spend a bit of time practicing and learning a skill that frankly um, is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> um, really good welders make it look really, really easy, but it is not. I'll hopefully be able to update you with how the trellis is looking in the next video um, once I've done a bit of grinding and uh, filing and sanding. Anyway, as usual, give me a like, leave me a comment and make sure you subscribe to the Sugarly Shed channel for the rest of the videos in this GS500 build and I'll see you next time. Don't know what I'll be doing. Something with the forks, maybe. Something like that. Cheers!